Hello and welcome to yet another video from GymDev. My name is Shaden and in this video, we'll be looking at the article and module or other integrations for JD Builder, how you can use the JD Builder layout manager power of JD Builder in your existing Joomla extensions, whether that be uh, Hika Shop, which is upcoming, or module uh, manager modules, which, which gives you great power since you can load a module pretty much anywhere or with Joomla articles as well. So uh, make to um, before we move forward, make sure you have the latest version of JD Builder installed and uh, enabled. Once you're there, go to JD Builder and integrations. And by default, there's only one integration available right now. That is Joomla articles. As more integrations follow, they would appear here and you'll have an option to enable or disable them. And by default, this is disabled. So I'll go ahead and enable this. And then I'll go to content and articles. And since I don't have any articles right now, I'll go ahead and create an article real quick. And I'll say test article. Now I do want to show what, how this actually works, where the content of your article comes in and where the JD Builder uh, layout comes in. So I'll go ahead and create a menu item real quick as well. I'm going to call it test menu item. Just add it. Uh, we'll just select this article that we just created. Preview our site here. Oh, there's an error. That was from something I was doing before. Should should be gone away. Okay, there you go. It's no more there. Okay, so here's our test menu item. <clears throat> and here's, here's how this works. Um, so we'll go to JD Builder and go back to pages. Uh, well, actually content and articles, nothing in pages there. So you can use uh, just a regular editing screen, just as this is, and this is your content. So this is my article content. And so the article content and JD Builder content can both live side by side, okay? So as you can see, this is my article. The minute you click edit with JD Builder, the article content uh, is is in the background it's still there but is no longer active so if i save this and refresh uh there won't be anything here because the article content is now not being used and as you can see this is blank so let's try adding a template and we'll just uh, import one of these blocks now we'll just add this one and save this. All right, refresh. And as you can see, we have our uh, good looking section here. But again, the article content is still in the background. So this, this actually works as a toggle that lets you switch whether this article should render the JD Builder layout that you have, or should it render the article content. And once you go back to article content, and save it and you can see your article content is back however your JD Builder layout is still in the background so that's one thing that's the article integration and and when and page is active you can actually see uh, this will show up as JD page here and when you click it'll open up JD Builder editing uh, pane within your article so that that works really great the second thing is the module part where you're able to use modules uh, as as you know, JD Builder layout within a module and publish it anywhere. So we'll, we'll publish this to position two, which is where breadcrumbs are published. Let me open this up real quick. So position two, published, and menu assignment all pages, and we'll just add a section, right? And I think we can import a section as well. So from blocks, we'll go ahead and import, yeah, this one. Okay, and if we refresh, you can see we have this module. So we can turn off the title as we don't need that. And that's that's it. That's how you use JD Builder within modules and article. And again, it's it's great and gives you great uh, flexibility because 
originally you have to have in order to use JD Builder, you have to have it as a page. But now this gives you a lot of flexibility where you're not limited to having it as a page, but you can have it as parts of the page, whether that be article or whether that be within within an article or a few parts within the page where it's a module. And this, this should give you a lot more uh, flexibility, a lot more ease of use and control over the layouts you're trying to create. Thanks for watching.